China is uh, becoming a very serious innovator. Um, I think um, they uh, have shown that they can build cities and factories and, and very efficiently. Uh, and because of that, uh, they used to operate, I mean, the low-cost labor, but they're, as you well know, no longer the low-cost labor. As the uh, economy and as the wealth of the country rises, then you actually have to pay the people more money, which is good. Um, but uh, they also are beginning to learn how to innovate. Now, I personally think in the United States, still, uh, because of many reasons, uh, I still think the most clever, most original, most innovative ideas still come from the United States. But uh, partnerships with China are, are growing for, for good reasons, and uh, the Chinese are beginning to uh, take the discovery and the innovation very seriously. Uh, they are trying to change their educational system, the way they teach engineers in graduate school, uh, trying to revise it and bring back a lot of uh, American scientists and engineers or from Europe who uh, are Chinese but you know, spent some time in the United States or Europe uh, and bring them back when they're still young so they can train a new generation of graduate students. Uh, the training of the new generation to have to be really creative is something you don't find in textbooks. Uh, and so, uh, so China is making the right moves. They're, they're hiring some very good people and they're giving them resources.